Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not? Today, we're going to discuss the 2019 CME exclusive SG standards. When I first saw these instruments get released, I thought, hey, good on you guys, CME. You're creating something interesting and spontaneous, and I love it. These SGs are like a beautiful blend between your traditional 61 reissue, along with my favorite 70s SGs, blended with a late 60s styled pickup. So what we have here is a 61 reissue styled pick guard. It's the small wing one, but they decided to do it in tortoise shell to make these different from other SGs. The hardware and other features except for the inlays are pretty well 61 styled, which means an ABR1 bridge. But the one little feature that they take from the 70s is the small block inlays. Now I personally love the 70s SGs, I think they're some of the best bang for the buck that you can buy. However, they weren't going for the 70s SG sound because those would have came with tarbacks. This run is going after the mid to late 60s SGs, with CME's exclusive T-Type pickups. Which is a play on words because they're emulating the T-Top pickup. They get their names because the tops of the bobbins would have T's on them. But they're claiming that these are underwound Alnico 5 pickups. They're supposed to read about 7.2. But if the pickups and the tortoiseshell pickguard alone aren't enough to catch your eye, they're offering these in nine different finishes. And honestly, I could care less about all the other specs of this guitar, it's the finishes that caught my eye. You have your traditional ones like Walnut, Ebony, and Heritage Cherry, but they've introduced six other colors that you can't normally find. That means Frost Blue, Gloss Yellow, Shell Pink, Olive Drab, Coral, and Cary Green. Now I want you to go into the comments and tell me which color you would buy if you were given $14.99 to get one of these. Personally, you know, there's something interesting about pink. I have a pink Les Paul that I'm going to be reviewing shortly, and it's just kind of a quirky color. I like it, but I would probably go with the Olive Drab color. That's kind of a take it or leave it finish, but I like that shade of green. But let's talk here. Nine colors. Ugh, they should have just made it a nice even ten. I feel like some version of white is missing. There's not too many white SG standards out there, so I really feel with that tortoiseshell pickguard and everything, a white finish really would have rounded out this run. So now let's talk about that $14.99 price point. That's a really good price if you are comparison shopping between the other SGs that are available this year. Going onto Sweetwater's website, we can see that an SG standard for 2019 is running the same $14.99 price point. These both come with that brown gig bag case, but with CME's exclusive run, you are getting some of the 61 reissue specs on that guitar, and those are running $17.99. Now the 61 reissues do come with a proper case, so that extra $300 really isn't all that much, but I feel the CME exclusive run, is it just sits perfectly right in the middle of these two, and that's a very attractive price point. So now that we've talked about these guitars, let's go ahead and briefly hear how one sounds. <laughs> Question left, would you rock a Chicago Music Exchange exclusive SG or not? Leave your answer down in the comments section below, and regardless of how you feel about this instrument, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.